Right, so in this segment now I'm talking about actually fairly important uh, definitions of phase, state, killer brigum, and state postulate. Okay, so let's get to it. The first thing is the phase, and you know about this, it changes phase. For instance, water freezes, it becomes an ice, it changes phase, etc. So you know it, but let's put it, uh, a definition to it. Okay, it's a quantity of matter, homogeneous throughout, is what, I, what it's called. Let's give an example to phase. As I said it's going to be homogeneous. Let's say that I have some kind of a container over here. And in the container, let's say that I have water and I have ice frozen right up top like a river, right? So this is water and this is ice, okay? So this is the phase of water, this is the ice. And what we call the intersection between those two is phase boundary, okay? So this is the phase boundary. And it each, each phase, pressure and temperature and other properties are constant, okay, within the water and within the ice, right? We'll talk more about it, but I just want to give you an idea because I'm going to use the word phase so I can, uh, you know, use it when I define the state. So the state uh, says that the phase of the system identified by the properties of the system at any given time, okay? So it is basically the condition of the system is the state. Again, you kind of know this, but uh, you know we're making uh, you know uh, baseline, right? So let's write it over here. It's kind of important. State is basically the condition of my system that I define, which I uh, defined in earlier uh, segments. Okay, and this is defined by the properties as I said. It is or the characteristics that I have. Uh, that's going to determine my state and the question may, may come to your mind that how many properties do I need to define a state that's where this postulate is for we'll come back to that in a minute okay and I want to highlight that the properties of a state is independent of how you arrived at that particular state it's kind of important it's a little early to discuss these things but it's good to repeat things so you can you know learn it better and but at the same time what it means is the properties are point functions they are independent of the path, okay? Uh, and you know, this is coming from math, like the path functions depend on the path taken. So my properties are independent of how I arrived at that particular state, okay? In this class, I'm gonna look at things are at equilibrium, all right? And the question that uh, comes to my mind is, okay, so I'm gonna look at room states, that's what I'm gonna look at, right? So what does that mean, all right? So this means that it is balanced. I mean, again, you know this word too. It's balanced. It, it, the state does not change when isolated from the surroundings. If that's the case, then I call this, the, this is in equilibrium, okay? I can give an example of that. For instance, I have a hot, uh, well, it doesn't matter how hot, but let's say a water container over here. Let's say it's at 20 degrees C, and I dumped a solid at 50 degrees C, right? Is this, is this whole thing? If I take my system as the, these two combined, like the water and the, the metal that I throw in, is it going to be an equilibrium now? No, not really. Okay. Perhaps this is going to settle down at this particular, uh, you know, state. Let's say 30. I'm making this up. 30 and 30 degrees C. So now this is an equilibrium, right? So this is something that we kind of know by 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 uh, you know our, our common sense. Okay. Um, but when I say equilibrium, I want to make sure that we, we, we talk about the same language. And when I say thermal, right, I just talked about the thermal over here. Equilibrium, uh, and which means that T is constant in my system. Okay, everything is applied to my system. Right? So like the control volume. Um, I can also have, I must have, mechanical which means that the pressure is constant throughout my volume that I have okay um, and the phase equilibrium also means that if I have a four two two phase systems and I gave an example up here um, mass of each phase is constant after reaching the equilibrium okay and there is also a uh, you know, chemical equilibrium. So there's a bunch of them. You can see that there's no chemical reaction happening within the system that I'm dealing with over here. So I can have phase, I can have chemical, etc., etc. But this needs to be satisfied for my system to be 
at equilibrium, all right? So let's talk about the question, an important question that I asked. So I said that uh, right over here, I said that the state is, is, is the, uh, you know, defined by the properties, right? So how many properties do I need? So for that, we have something called the state postulate, okay? Postulate. I like to say postulate, I don't know why. I like that. State postulate. The, the, the important thing that I want to uh, start with here is that this is a simple compressible system. We talked about it. We said that there's no electrical input, there's no electrical work, magnetic effects, the, the, the gravitational etc. So I discussed this in a you know, couple uh, segments back. Okay, So I'm dealing only with a simple compressible uh, system. This system will be completely defined right, uh, by two independent intensive properties okay so in order for me to actually let's write it uh, is, is completely defined by two independent intensive not extensive properties okay and i want to write the you know baby maybe like an asterisk over here um, this is only for one phase systems. I will cover multi phase systems down the road. Okay, so only for single phase systems. Okay, we'll talk more about the state postulate, but two independent intensive properties can be P, T, like the uh, specific volume so i can pick two or three as an example there are more than that we'll discuss things but again i don't want to throw in uh, terminologies in your direction so this will do i'll pick two of them like pressure and temperature determines my state okay and if i change uh, you know even one of them then i will be in another state okay that, that you know uh, it's important so even a slight change in one property will cause the state to change okay all right then uh, this will do it for this particular segment i'll be back with processes and cycles definitions take care